friend of mine wants me to try it on the road. Sweet. I'm going to get off this crappy Cy Engine Mod. I love you, Cy Engine Mod. But you don't work for me. It's all over. So, how do you do this? You power off the phone after you put these files in. And then we're going to put in the TWRP. There we go. Um, battery data is reset. Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. And then we gotta wipe out the phone. Wipe that out. Wipe that out. Wipe that out. Oh, wipe that out. Wipe that out. Oh, wipe that out. Swipe. So wipe. Okay. Oh boy. I'm so excited to try out this ROM. Okay, where is it? Uh, first one. Okay, we'll go ahead and install the boot stack. Let's add more zips to that. And Jasmine ROM. Sweet! I'm going to another room. I'm so excited. <laughs> and it's still going. And it's still going. I can't wait to boot up my phone. Oh my god. My phone's fully, like, got the ROM installed and everything. Okay, so the next step is wipe the vet cache. Okay, gonna do it. Alright, let's reboot system. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, I'm so excited, still excited, oh no, oh no, 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 are you dead, are you dead, wake up, wake up, I think I killed my phone, my precious phone, <laughs> you were your good phone. You want to be a good phone. The LG G3 will always be the greatest phone ever. I've bricked it. I've done everything I can to fix it. Has this ever happened to you? Have you ever faced this moment in time? Take that phone out of the trash can because there's more to it. May the force be with you. Just as you guys saw, there is still hope. You break your phone. You do not know why. Maybe because you think you screwed it up or you sitting out there saying, screw you Cyan Jamaat, you guys fucked my world up or anything like that. Okay, first of all, stop pointing fingers. It's not LG's fault, it's not Laser's fault, it's not CyanogenMod's fault, it's not XDA's fault, it's nobody's fault. It's not even this hard drive's fault and it's in repairs right now. And that's like, how can this hard drive even screw up your phone? So stop pointing fingers, Laser452 is here to help you guys. I've discovered this myself, I'm pretty sure somebody else has before, but did not want to share it out because I've looked for it, couldn't find it, and I said, you know what? I'll ask XDA. The Road Warrior, I think uh, he knew what, it, yeah, he knew what it is. I don't, I shouldn't say he thinks, he knows what it is. Because when I told him that the issue was fixed, I have a post about it. He told me, good, I'm glad that you were able to get your phone fixed. And he has a post explaining what the issue is. So before you go out there and you destroy Townsville and Powerpuff Girls just to get your ass kicked by three little girls, you need to stop and think. There is a way to fix this phone. I purposely bricked my phone just to show you guys that this is possible and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. 
Yes, it is going to be a pain in the ass for you to boot into safe mode and all that, but if you listen to your computer and you listen to this video, you will understand how to fix this and forevermore you won't have to worry about it. Why is my lens all scuffed up? Stupid dirt. Point fingers at you, you stupid dirt. Don't touch my freaking lens again. I'll kick your ass. Stuff like that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and continue on. Oh my god. Wait, how is it still there? I, I don't know. I don't care. Who cares? I don't care. <laughs> so let's go ahead and show you guys how to repair your G3. It's very easy and it's very simple. So let's get started. guys going on blaming like I said anybody for this happening to your phone at least you guys got laser 452 out there but before we start this video you guys need to know this I bet you guys were scratching your head if you're going to switch ROMs you need to factory reset your phone in other words you got a KDZ it or whatever the line I said on the video and if some of you guys did not take that warning seriously, you are now left a busted up phone with a glowing light and that's it. Nothing more. So I am going to show you guys how it is done and how to solve this issue and how to fix it. The first thing is you need to power off your phone. If you don't want to take out your battery, there's a trick to it. You got to hold down the volume down and the power button at the same time. When the light cuts off, let go. Your phone should be off. If not, then I'm pretty sure it will boot in and just pull out the battery. Because I wasn't very for sure. Nope, just pull out the battery. So just make sure you turn off your phone. So yes, we're gonna have to disassemble our phones. I've looked this up and uh, a guy on YouTube has made some sense that, oh, it was a glitch with Marshmallow. Well, to some phones it may be, but um, screw marshmallow, I don't care for it. So your phone's completely off. But how the hell do you know it is on the right thing? I'm slowing down because I can't remember some things. How do you know if it's on download mode? We're going to show you that. Very easy and simple. When you first plug in this phone, you hold, before you plug it in, you hold the power button, uh, not power button, you hold the volume up button. As soon as you plug in that USB cord, when you're holding the button, you start counting. When five seconds is up, you let go. You're in download mode. If you keep holding up the volume up button for 10 seconds, you're actually just going to boot loop your phone. And then you're going to wonder what the hell is going on. And I don't mean by boot loop as in completely breaking it. You're pretty much shutting down your phone again and it boots up back in there. You still hold it down, it shuts off, it boots up, and so on. So let it go after 5 seconds. So take your phone. But how do you know? Just shut up and listen. This camera out here will show you what's going on with the phone. So, I'm going to hold down the up button, plug it in, two, three, four, five, let go. Now you hear your connection sound. That means your phone's in download mode. Five seconds is all it takes. Now we're going to bring everything onto the laptop, and the phone is going to be in the corner. Don't you dare press that power button, you look like it. Alright, here on the computer, the phone's now on the top right hand side of the screen. Makes it look nice. So, what you guys gotta do is you need the KDC file, and you need the Flash Tool 2014. This is the only tool that will save your life. Use an LG Up tool, or using the other Flash Tool. I don't have it on my, oh wait, here it is. This other Flash Tool is not gonna do you two shits. Not at all. That or up tool is not going to do you two shits. I repeat what I just said. 
We are going to use the Flash Tool 2014 and we're going to bring this up here. Now you're going to launch the tool. So on here, you're going to navigate to where your KDZ file is. Here is mine. I always keep it with the flash tool in case if any of these things happen. But I need to organize my shit some more. We're gonna open it. We're going to go to S oh wait, C S E Flash. We're going to go to start. Leave everything the hell alone. I've been hearing that people's changing this to English or whatever and they still succeed, but I'm still sticking with the old post saying leave everything the hell alone. Click on OK. And if you start off with a bunch of question marks, don't worry about it. I'll show you guys how to get through this. Then you get this, just click on this box, and then leave it alone. And guys, what it's trying to do is look for an update to whatever the hell the case may be, and um, that's why it's bringing that up. You just press it, leave everything else alone. If you're wondering what that box is right there in the bottom right hand corner, that's an exit box. I taught you. What the hell was that, Azer? Oh my god, you fixed. You, 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 you broke your phone. But, 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 but how is it possible? Technology is possible. That's how you guys recover the black screen of death. Road Warrior has a post explaining how to fix it. So, there you guys go. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot in so you guys will see. How powerful this is. So there is your unbricked phone and your back in stock and now you install whatever ROM you want. This is a warning. If you have ROMs that requires different boot stats, KDZ your phone. Back up your crap, use KDZ on this phone, put in another ROM. Yes, you're going to have to go through the nightmare of installing um, Stump Root or any other root method for this phone. Installing TWRP, BusyBox, whatever. Then you got to install these ROMs and so on and so forth. Yes, I know. That's pain in the butt. But the thing is, if you're willing to take the time, you're going to have the best damn ROM you have out there that you want. Oh, and if the flash tool crashes, just say close the program. Let it give you an error message and give it the bird. But there you guys have it. Your phone is now officially unbricked. My fan dropped his in the water and somehow it screwed up to that point. I was able to get him to this point here. Boom. That's a sign that your phone's working. Yes, it's supposed to reboot in case some of you guys don't know. I don't know why my lens is smeared. I think I know why. Oh well. Crap happens. And there you guys have it. Your phone is good as new. This is Laser452, and I hope you guys enjoy. Watch my other videos on how to root this phone. If any files are missing, Facebook me. Link is in the description. I'll see you guys later. Peace.